Lil Loaded was one of the most promising up and coming rappers from Texas before he took his own life earlier this year. Let's take a look at the career and come up of Lil Loaded. Lil Loaded is a rapper from Dallas, Texas, best known for his breakout track, Block Baby. He was born to Sean Maurice Robertson in San Bernardino, California. He moved to Dallas when he was 10, but went back and forth to Cali when he got older. He was raised by his mom while his pops was locked up. He was one of five kids and was the middle child. He had a brother who was eight years older and taught him everything he knew about the streets. Growing up in Dallas, the rapper said he had to quickly adapt to his environment. He was from the Rolling 60 Crips, one of the oldest and largest gangs in LA. When he was 15, his older brother got killed due to gun violence. At the time, Lil Loda wasn't even in Dallas. His mama sent him to Cali because he was getting into too much trouble. But his brother's death really changed him and pushed him deeper into the streets. His brother was a man of the house, and after he died, Lil Loda took on the responsibility and made sure everyone was straight. Around that time, he started getting into shootouts. At one point, he got shot in the hand. He held it up to prevent the bullet from hitting him in the face. He was lucky he reacted quickly, because if the bullet ain't hit his hand, he probably would have got killed. The crazy thing is, he ain't even go to the hospital after he got shot. He ain't want them to report the shooting to the police. So he had someone in the hood fix him up. The wound wasn't that deep and the bullet ain't even make it through the back of his hand. So he went to one of his homie's moms who was able to stitch him up. She pulled out the bullet with no meds and he was back on the streets the same day. After that, he decided to start moving smarter so he wouldn't end up in the same situation. That was around the time he started rapping. He took the name Lil Loaded cause that's what everyone in the hood used to call him. He used to show up to basketball practice high as a kite. So the name just stuck. He dropped his first track, B.O.S., in June 2019. It did all right for his first song, but only got about five or 600 views in the first week. He followed up with Block Baby, which became his breakout hit. He found an NLE Chopper type beat on YouTube and freestyled a song in two takes. Then, he filmed a video in his hood and dropped it on July 26, 2019. A Polish YouTuber named Tommy Craze, who does reviews of rap videos on YouTube, came across the video. He does a segment on his channel where he watches music videos with zero views. He came across Block Baby right after it dropped and thought it was fire. This helped the video go viral and it racked up hundreds of thousands of views over the next few days. Lil Loda became an overnight success and within 24 hours, he was getting offers from labels. The next day, he flew out to Florida to meet with managers. Tommy Craze gave the song an alley -oop to push it to a bigger audience. But part of what made it an overnight success was that the song was raw and unique. Lil Loda had a sound that blended Southern and West Coast hip hop with his cold flow and hard bars that made it an instant hit. Things happened so fast that he barely had time to process what was going on. He continued to capitalize off the success of his viral track by dropping more music. He followed up with songs like Smoke Today and Gang Unit, which both did numbers, proving Lil Loaded wasn't just a one-hit wonder. He later signed to Epic Records and dropped his debut mixtape, Block Baby, in December 2019. So, in a matter of months, Lil Loaded went from being an unknown rapper to one of the hottest up-and-coming artists in the game. He dropped a remix to Block Baby featuring NLE Choppa, which also racked up millions of views. Then, he collaborated with some of the hottest rappers in the game, like King Von, Pooh Shiesty, and Hot Boy. So, with such a fast come up, it looked like Lil Loaded was about to become a superstar. But just as he was beginning to enjoy his success, he ended up in a tragic situation that nearly cost him his freedom. On October 25th, 2020, police was called to the 7200 block of Lost Canyon Drive in the Woods neighborhood of Dallas. When they arrived, they learned that 18-year-old Khalil Walker was taken to the Methodist Charlton Medical Center where he was pronounced dead from a gunshot wound to the chest. Walker was one of Lil Loaded's close homies. Witnesses say that just before he got killed, Walker, Loaded, and an unidentified witness was chilling outside the house. Walker's sister was inside and said she heard two gunshots. When she ran outside, she saw Lil Loaded and the other witness standing over Walker's body. She ran back inside and called 911. According to an affidavit, she also went through Lil Loaded's phone and saw a video showing the rapper shooting her brother. Loaded and the other witness then put Walker into the back of a car and drove him to the hospital. After investigating, the police issued a warrant for Lil Loaded's arrest. A few days later, he turned himself into authorities and got booked in the Dallas County Jail. He was originally held on a $500,000 bond, but it got reduced to $75,000. At the time of his arrest, he also had a pending gun charge for unlawful carrying of a weapon. He posted bail about a month later because he still had contractual obligations to his label. After getting out, he got on social media to prove his innocence. He posted a pic of his mugshot to Instagram with the caption, I appreciate all y'all support. Let's try to make you look guilty when you innocent regardless. We gonna get past this. RRP my brother, love you. Lil Loda never denied shooting his friend, but he claimed it was an accident. 
They was filming a music video using a loaded gun, and during the shoot, it accidentally went off, killing Walker. It was a tragic accident that could have been avoided, but Lil Lotus still had to face the consequences of being the one who pulled the trigger. In March 2021, a Dallas County grand jury indicted the rapper on a lesser charge of manslaughter. They claim that while the shooting ain't seem intentional, there was enough evidence to charge him with recklessly causing the death of Walker. While on house arrest, Lil Lota continued to work. In December 2020, he dropped his second mixtape, Crypt Tape. A few months later, his hit song Block Baby was certified gold, but it was hard for Lil Lota to enjoy his success. Not only was he dealing with the guilt of being responsible for the death of his boy, but he was also potentially looking at spending the next few years in prison. All this was weighing heavy on him, and at that point, he'd only been in the industry for about a year. Unfortunately, the pressure was too much, and he ended up taking his own life just a few months later. On May 31st, 2021, a relative found Lil Loaded dead from a self-inflicted gunshot at a home on a 1500 block of Allen Drive. His death was a huge loss to friends and family members. Even though he was going through a lot, he still had a promising future ahead of him, and his lawyers felt confident with his case. Records show he had a court date coming up the following week. His attorney told XXL that, while pending charges as serious as Mr. Robertson's can be exceedingly stressful, and it certainly may have contributed to his tragic outcome, I believe he was in a good place mentally with regard to the charges and our upcoming court date. We felt he had a strong defense to his charges, but apparently, the charges against him wasn't the only factor that led to his suicide. Just before he died, he posted a cryptic message to his Instagram that read, Dear Most High, please forgive me for my shortcomings and all the times I fell short of making you proud and being appreciative of all the blessings that have been put in my life. Sometimes the lines are blurred between being solid and being heartless. I want to thank you for how far I've come and the people you've put in my life to keep me grounded and humble through everything and I love every single one of those people that are generally for me. I ask for entrance into your kingdom through all of my mistakes. I know you love all of your children and I'm ready for my heart and soul to join you. One of Lil Lotus' close homies also got on Instagram to shed more light on the situation. He said the rapper killed himself over his girlfriend. He said Lotus told him like a month before that somebody f***ed his girl and that he was gonna kill him. Unfortunately, fans will probably never know exactly why Lil Lotus took his own life. It could have been a combo of all the hate he received from his own gang over killing his friend, his legal struggles, his relationship problems, or the pressures of the music industry. With all this weighing on him, he probably felt like he had no other option. It's a tragic situation that seems to continue to happen. Another rapper with a lot of potential and natural talent that could have taken him far in the industry, who once again was taken too soon. At least he left behind some great music to carry on his memory. R.I.P. Lil Loaded.